So today we are looking at the Ubuntu Mat 24.04.1 LTS version. So let me quickly boot it in the live boot. So I'm running it on the virtual box which is a virtualization with a 60 GB of a virtual disk, 8 GB of RAM and my CPU is i5-1240p. So the booting process will take like a 2 or 3 minutes usually. So I already made Ubuntu and Ubuntu flavors of 24.04.1 LTS update version. So this is just a minor update so there is no major changes or anything but I'm going to go through all those uh, information. So you should be seeing the same Linux kernel version in every Ubuntu, Ubuntu flavors and also about the applications version you should be getting same applications versions. And I'm going to go through all the information by typing some commands and getting all the information. So it took just a minute and 10 seconds uh, to run the desktop layout. So here is our desktop. So it took just a few seconds, like almost a minute maybe. So I was continuously talking, so I didn't uh, see the time. So here is our desktop layout. So it, it has the welcome screen of installation. So we just need the uh, live boot and also the experience of the uh, Linux system. That was the sound from the uh, Ubuntu Mat. So there will be uh, some difference when you use it on the virtual machines and also on the bay metal. So the bay metal, when you use the on the bay metal, the Linux distro will be pretty much uh, smoothly. You should be seeing the smooth experience and also a bit more uh, uh, response or the uh, Whenever you open the applications, it will be opening instantly without issues. So there will be some minor hiccups here and there in the virtual machines. So you need to understand these basic things. So don't judge by just uh, seeing some hiccups here and there in the virtual machines. There will be same thing uh, in the uh, bay metal. So there will be difference because it's a bay metal. So you should be seeing everything smoothly there. So here is our language selection of the installation. So I'm going to go through some things here and I'm going to run it on the uh, live boot. But before that, I'm going to show you the system monitor and see how much of a resource it's consuming. So here is our system monitor. I'm going to change the display settings. You don't need to worry about it. We just need to run like a 60 seconds to see whether the graph is stable or not. So as soon as you boot up the Linux distro in the virtual machines, the RAM will be like a 1.3 GB. So I already tried in the VMware. The VMware has some issues uh, when I tried to run like a Ubuntu Cinnamon version, which I already made today. The video is already available in the YouTube. If you want to check that out, you can check it out. So there was some issues in the VMware. So that's the reason I tried it in the virtual box. So the Ubuntu made, I directly uh, booted it in the virtual box instead of VMware. So there are some issues with the Ubuntu and Ubuntu flavors in my PC in the virtual machines. But most of the almost 90% of every other Linux distributions run smoothly in the uh, virtual machines. But there are some uh, Ubuntu and other Linux distros, they will be having some issues. It's not with the CD or ISO files. It's the issue with the virtual machines. So you already know it's not from the Ubuntu and also other uh, Linux distros. It's just issues with the virtual machines. Some ISOs will run properly, some ISOs will not. So these are all the basic things I want to let you know. So that's the reason I said. So on the CPU side, it's pretty much stable. As you can see, it's under like a 10% and about the RAM, it's running 1.2 GB. So Ubuntu Cinnamon has the issues of a high CPU and hiccups here and there, but uh, the mad desktop looks pretty much smooth. So I hope it uh, it's going to be throughout the video like this, then the video will be awesome. So these are all the resources right now. It's uh, CPU is pretty much under 10%, memory is 1.2 GB. So here is the system information. We are using 24.04.1 LTS. The code name for the Ubuntu and Ubuntu flavors is Novel Numbet. So the MAT desktop environment you get is 1.26.2 and the Linux kernel version you get is 6. 8.0-41 which is same in every Ubuntu and Ubuntu flavors so you don't see any changes in the kernel and also in the applications versions the applications may vary but the applications version will be same so whatever the application is in Ubuntu and Ubuntu flavors will be have the same version so there will be no changes in that and about the process these are all the process running right now and the resources which I already showed so let's first change the display settings now I need to go to the app menu, go to preference, 
displays and my monitor is like a 1920 into 1080 I'm going to keep it you get the 60 Hertz even if you have like a 165 Hertz uh, monitor so I'm going to keep it like that so I'm going to put the system monitor in the right side corners throughout the video so you can see all the changes and judge whether to use this uh, Linux version or not so I already made all the Ubuntu flavors and Ubuntu videos of a 0.1 update version if you want to check it out you can check it out so here is our welcome screen choose the language there are plenty of languages available you just need to scroll it down click next and also you get the new Ubuntu installer so that's the best thing you have click next here accessibility in Ubuntu Mate. you can toggle if you want or else you can keep the default click next and choose your keyboard layout you can detect here and select the keyboard variant I'm choosing the English United States default one and also you can test uh, your keyboard right here by typing click next if you want to connect to the internet you can connect or else you can do not connect it's clearly up to you click next what what do you want to do with the Ubuntu mat if you want to install you can install you can try you can do it so I'm just going to try the Ubuntu mat and I'm going to show you the installation process later so let me open the uh, Firefox web browser because we need to go to the official website and I'm going to show you all the changes and also how many years do you get uh, the support uh, in the Ubuntu mat so I'm going to go through all those things so let me open the browser so here we have the browser and you should be seeing the version of 129.0.2 let me show you first about Firefox so here is our version 129.0.2 which is same in every Ubuntu and Ubuntu flavors let me type in about support hit enter so the version the browser name and the ID canonical which is distribution ID user agent the Linux kernel 6.8 so let me show you let's type in Linux kernel hit enter here is the official link of the Linux kernel so here you should be seeing the release candidate version is uh, 6.11 RC6 and the stable version right now is 6.10.7 which is released on August 29th here it is and the long term is 6.6.48 .6 which is released on August so here is the version we are using right now 6.8 so here are other information and also you can go through release and get all the information so here is the operating system theme Yaru Matte, Yaru Matte Lite so when you scroll it down you should be seeing some additional information so keep an eye on the CPU and RAM throughout the video so you can decide and you can judge on your own the memory size is 7.8 GB disk space is available like 3.8 GB so in order to run this uh, Ubuntu Matte and Ubuntu Flavors or Ubuntu Linux distro and I'm going to show you or I'm going to tell you about the system requirements there is no actual system requirements mentioned anywhere but I'm going to mention it uh, from my side so you need to have like a 2 gigahertz dual core processor or more to run the Ubuntu and Ubuntu flavors and about the RAM you need to have like a 4 GB of RAM or maybe more will be better and about the hard disk or a SSD whatever it is you need to have like a 50 GB or 60 GB of hard disk in order to run uh, everything smoothly and also if you want to save anything you can save it in that uh, hard drive so about the monitor uh, you need to have like a 1366 into 768 or uh, most of the users uh, in 2024 will be having like a 1920 into 1080 so with the monitor there is no issue so you need to have this much of hardware specs in order to run Ubuntu and Ubuntu flavors and also you can run other Linux distributions which are like a 60 to 70 percent of Linux distros can run uh, if you have this much of hardware specs so that was the system requirements for the Ubuntu and Ubuntu flavors so here is some browser information if you want to consider you can pause the video and read everything because I don't want to read everything it's going to make a video lengthy I'm just going to uh, read the important and the related information of the Ubuntu so here is some other information 
scroll it down you should be seeing the information and the window protocol right now we are using the x11 desktop environment matte desktop environment and this is uh, some other information and also the monitor resolution is right here so you should be seeing some additional information of the browser and other things if you want you can pause the video and read everything so let me open some important if, uh, websites of uh, everything like uh, official website and ubuntu and all those things give me uh, give me like a uh, 50 seconds or uh, 30 seconds i'm going to trim that part so you don't need to worry about anything here so here we have opened all the official website and other information so i opened all the tabs so in order to go to the official website or the in order to download the ubuntu mat so you just need to type in ubuntu mat in the uh, search engine or in your browser the first link will be the ubuntu mat which is this one ubuntu-mat.org so here is the official website if you want to get all the information if you don't know anything about the ubuntu mat here is all the information you can go to the official website and go through all the information you can learn more you can get all the information like a features about and all those things so for the sake of the video i'm just going to the important information so we don't have any point one uh, information so there is literally no information of the point one update in any of the ubuntu and ubuntu flavors but some ubuntu and ubuntu flavors have some point one information just the like a uh, how many years it has support that's the only thing you should be seeing in like a uh, ubuntu cinnamon has the point one update information just the like a uh, supported years other than that there is literally nothing so here is the release notes about the lts so you already know about the ubuntu mat 24.04 lts information so here it is so applications you get the 1.26.2 and the kernel version about the firefox you should be getting the latest version 129.0.2 so that's the latest version and also the library office celluloid evolution will be some other information will be updated i'm going to go through all the applications so you don't need to worry about it so here is some of the information and also you know how many years it's supported so here are all the information so you can go through all the information right here so the ubuntu flavors should be supported until 2027 and the ubuntu will be supported until 2029 so in order to download you can just click here and you should be seeing this interface and here is the system requirements so i forgot about it so I already mentioned the system requirements but I'm going to show you somehow. So when you click on the system requirements, minimum you need to have like a core to DO and 1 GB RAM and 8 GB storage. So it says like that it's better to have this much of uh, recommended. So I already mentioned you need to have like a dual core processor but it says core i3. So you need like a core i3 CPU architecture AMD 64 and ram i already mentioned 4 gb and about the storage they said 16 gb so it's better to have like a 50 gb in order to save everything but if you uh, are uh, short if you have like a shortage of the hard disk it's better to have at least a 16 gb so it's also the recommended so if you have like a 20 gb it will be also okay and boot media bootable dvd rom or the usb flash drive and display it says 1440 into 9 900 or higher so i thought it will be like a 1366 into 768 but you need to have like a four i think it's better to have like a 1920 into 1080 or like a 1440p uh, monitor with the graphics acceleration so you need to have this much of uh, system requirements and also you can go through raspberry pi and all those things if you want uh, if you have like a raspberry pi you can go through all the information here so if you have all those things what should uh, what should i download you can go through all those things and uh, get all the information after you click on the 64 bit you should be also getting the information so which architecture if you want some additional information you can go through uh, all those things or else you can just read it from here lts long term release if you prefer stability so i already said it will be supported till 2027 because the 24.04 is a lts so it will be supported three years and non lts will be supported nine months so if you're a normal user it's better to go with the lts or else you can judge on your own whatever you want to choose it's clearly up to you i'm choosing the 64-bit pieces 
and here is all the information so the older version of a jammy jellyfish is supported until 2025 and the 23 20, uh, 23.10 magic miniature is uh, 2024 which is already ended and about the 24.04.1 lts it's supported until 2027 so it's better to go with this option in my opinion and other thing is clearly up to you so about all the information you get uh, here so there is no literally information of the point update but when you go to the ubuntu uh, 24.04 lts here you should be getting all the information of the ubuntu which is supported until five years which is june 2029 and about the specific uh, 24.04.1 here is the summary when you click on it you should be welcomed with this screen so you should be seeing all the bug fixes which is about the release point update installation bugs fixes so these are all the things which you see of the bugs upgrade bug fixes when you scroll down you should be seeing the desktop fixes and also let me scroll it down you should be seeing the server and cloud related fixes so ubuntu mat is just a, uh, based on the ubuntu which i already mentioned but i'm going to show you all the information also so we got all the information here you can download whatever version you want it's better to go with the 24.04.1 lts so let's open the terminal and let me type in some commands here let me go to system mat terminal let me make it bigger and let's check the version of the mat terminal you should be getting 1.26.1 so let me type in neofetch hit enter so operating system ubuntu mat i'm running it on the virtual box kernel version which i already mentioned uptime is 18 minutes packages 2175 dpkg and 12 snap shell bash version 5.2.21 monitor resolution here is the mat desktop environment version which is 1.26.1 here is my monitor resolution 1920 into 1080 and uh, other themes yaru theme so here is some of the terminal fonts and all those things my cpu which is i5 1240p here is the ram it's consuming 987 but it shows here as a 1.2 gb so here is all the information and let me type in inxi dash sv8 hit enter and you should be seeing complete distro information and i'm going to go through all the important information if i forgot anything do let me know in the comment section and if anything is missed you just can pause the video and read everything so host it says ubuntu mat kernel version already mentioned 64-bit architecture compiler gcc version 13.2.0 mat desktop environment version is 1.26.2 marco version is 1.26.2 light dm version 1.30.0 distro mat desktop environment or the mat ubuntu mat 24.04.1 lts noble numet is the uh, code name and it's based on ubuntu so here is the uh, virtual box information which is unnecessary in this uh, video but if it's important for you you can just read it here and about the battery it's also unnecessary about the ram i'm using 8 gb of ram available is 7.76 gb used is 1.24 gb which is 16 percent and when you scroll it down you should be seeing cpu information which i already mentioned so if you want to go through all the information you can go through all this information here are all the vulnerabilities which is unnecessary so i'm just going to scroll it down and we need just graphics information here here are the virtual uh, things and uh, bmw x6 version is 2.20.0 and other information display is x11 server is xorch version 21.1.11 marco version is 1.26.2 and what else we have the available monitor resolutions let me scroll it down egl version api egl version is 1.5 and what else we left opengl version 4.5 mesa is 24.0.9 llvm pipe and uh, about the audio here is the elsa version 
Pipewire version is 1.0.5. What else we left? The network drives partitions is clearly unnecessary right now. The Bluetooth. So if you want, you can read everything by pausing the video. I'm just going to go through the just important information. Process running right now, 299. Uptime, 19 minutes. And here are the themes, images, and all those things. Init system D version, 255. Compiler GCC version, 13.2.0. Shell bash version, which I already mentioned. INXA version is 3.3.34. So we got all the important information. I'm just going to type in cat colon slash etc colon slash issue hit enter ubuntu 24.04.1 lts so let me type in inxi inxi dash small b so these are all the same commands but just in a short form instead of these commands you can just directly type in inxi dash s8 but if you want specific things you can type in like this inxi dash capital f inxi dash capital g so i provided all the important information if you want hstop you can see the hstop also so we got all the distro information and updated things here so let's close the terminal so let's go with the installation that was the sound of the ubuntu so we already saw all those things just i'm going to click on next and i'm going to continue with the, where we left so how would you like to install the ubuntu mat you can go with the interactive or the automatic installation so here you should be getting some description you can read for users who want to install by guided setup by set step by step through for the installation so i'm a bit tired and also i already made two videos so there will be stuttering in the video so try to ignore these things so automatic installation for advanced users who have an automated install yami for consistent and repeatable system setups so you can go through whatever you want for a normal user go with this option so what apps would you like to install to start with ubuntu mat desktop minimized so it's always a good option to go with the full uh, featured Ubuntu mat in order to experience everything. So I'm going to choose this one. Install recommended proprietary software. Ubuntu mat ships with no proprietary software by default. Installing additional software may improve your computer performance. So I'm just going to check both the options. Click next. How do you want to install Ubuntu mat? Erase disk or manual partitioning? So basically in a short term or a short answer, it's a single boot and it's like a multiple operating systems or a dual boot options. So erase disk option is like a, it's going to erase everything, whatever you choose the installation path or the installation drive or the hard disk or SSD, whatever it is. It's going to delete everything which is available in that like a movies, media files, even the current operating system. If you have like a Windows 11 or whatever the Linux distro in that, it's going to erase everything and it's going to install the ubuntu mat 24.04.1 in that so that's the information with this and here are the advanced features and manual partitioning is or the manual installation is you need to create a partition for that and you can choose this option and the uh, whatever partition you choose it will be installed in that partition and you should be seeing two operating systems one will be your current operating system and other will be the manual or the ubuntu mat uh, linux distro in that one in the partition so if you don't know what i'm talking you can go through the uh, installation tutorials in the youtube and you should be good with the installation if you're a normal user or a lin uh, new linux comer so after choosing the option click next here you need to create your account which is pretty much same in every linux distro and which is same in every operating system so it says what is your name here I'm just going to choose C9 to file Linux. Your computer name, I'm going to keep it 9 to file Linux as well. So it says some error because you are, I'm using the numericals first instead of alphabets. So that's the reason it's showing a red highlighted box. So when you choose the alphabets first, it's going to be gone and you should be seeing tick mark here. 
so here you need to create a password for the sake of the video I'm just choosing the simple password if you want to use active directory you can use it require my password to login I'm just going to uncheck it if you want to you can check it when you click on next here you should be seeing uh, the summary and also the location selection so the installation process will take like a 20 to 25 minutes if you have like a minimum requirement you should be like a taking that much of time if you have like a high end high end pc it should be very quick like a 6 7 minutes or maybe uh, lesser so it depends on the pc also and also it depends on the iso file in the in this case we are downloaded the stable iso file so in 99% of cases there will be no issues in the installation the installation will be performing uh, smoothly and installation will be very quick in the other cases like if you download the beta version development version or the unstable version there will be a rare cases like installation may fail and also the installation may stuck or the screen will be frozen completely so this will be issues with the unstable version or a beta version so if you're a normal user it's better to always go with the stable version if you are already a distro, te uh, distro tester or uh, like a uh, if you already a uh, linux hopper it's better to uh, you already know what to do here if you're a normal user go with the stable iso files always so that was the uh, some installation tips i don't want to install because i need to make another video so we got all the information let's check some desktop features so everything is same battery notifications you can change your uh of settings so i kept everything as default i didn't touch anything here is the notifications you can click on dnd which is do not disturb you can change the volume settings so these are all the same things you see in the previous version so there is nothing literally no changes here so it will be a waste of time to uh, go through all those things so what else we left is uh, the stress test which i usually do in every video the panel version is right here you can customize your panel by going to prefer, uh, proprietaries properties sorry i already said i'm a bit tired so there will be some misspeakings so you can add the panel you can customize by adding everything here whatever you want to add you can add it so let me do a stress test by opening a bunch of applications so i'm going to open like a five to six applications because a normal user will be opening uh like a five to six applications at once so i'm going to open a bit of resource consuming applications so let's find whether we have anything here so we need like a gimp a blender krita so that type of applications will consume a bit of resources but in this case we have any nothing so i'm going to show what are applications you get pre-installed here so most of them are from the mad desktop environment and uh, some library office and uh, you should be getting some basic applications here so you don't get any bloatware or anything here and also there is no uh, such applications which consumes a lot of resources here so i can't do any stress test so we just need to open whatever the applications we have here to see whether the distro will handle a day-to-day -day task or not I'm going to open some random applications which consumes a bit of resources. So I opened the installer, so that's the reason it's making that sound. As soon as you open the installer, the sound will be uh, having. Let's open the evolution. So I opened like a bit of applications here, so I think I'm good with it. Let's open the file manager also. So let's go to the system monitor. So after opening all the applications the CPU will be pretty much stable and the RAM is almost 2.4 GB so there is no uh, heavy resource applications here other than uh, Firefox and the library office and also the installer so these are all the only resources which uh, consumes a bit of uh, CPU and RAM so I already said the system requirements so in order to run uh, everything smoothly you need to have that much of uh, requirements and also you can find it on the Ubuntu Mat uh, downloading page so in my PC everything is working smoothly I don't see any issues or any lag so with the Ubuntu Mat even in the virtual box you should be running smoothly without issues 
so everything is running smoothly and the CPU will be pretty much stable after a few seconds so we already opened every applications we have some uh, error here which is the application evolution has closed unexpectedly so this is the only issue and uh, throughout the video I didn't face any issues or like a uh, hiccups or anything everything was working smoothly without any issues so in my case everything is good uh, it I don't know how it performs on your PC so it's better to try it on your own so if you already have the good Linux running already then don't try to ruin it by downloading some uh, Linux distros if you already have these good support and also if you are running with a stable Linux distro don't try to install some new Linux distros and ruin it if everything is working fine then you let it run uh, until its uh, end of support and if you have like a PC which is sitting uh, in the table without using any operating system you can try any of the Linux distros and uh, bring that to life and you can use it on your PCs which is uh, not uh, for the main PC or work PC so I'm just going to show you the about the application information and I'm going to end the video because we pretty much covered everything so we, here we already have the browser information which I already showed you in the beginning so about the Firefox you should be getting 129.0.2 let me close it so I'm going to keep the system monitor in the right side corner so evolution version I'm going to close it here are the software updates and customization change according to your wish which is also available in the previous version also so there is no changes here about the Ubuntu mat this is the version you get you can customize by going to preference and behavior display so you already know how to customize the file manager so I'm just going to close this so the installer which I already showed you let me close it so the app center let me show you the version 1.0.0 you can manage the apps so there is some update of the core 22 78 MB of updates so literally there is nothing other than that you can go to the explore you can go to the applications if you want to install you can install and you can get some other information here and also you can search here and uh, download whatever you want so here is the appearance or the themes available let me change so there is literally no changes in the themes or in the background so you should be getting same information as the 24.04 in the same as the point update also so there is literally no changes other than some bug fixes which I already mentioned in the beginning so about the rhythm box you get this version so you can compare uh, there will be some application updates other than that some bug fixes so these are only the changes so the version you get the library office is 24.2.5.2 let me close it so we pretty much got all the information so at the end of the video this is uh, the cpu this is the ram so it's consuming this much of ram throughout the video so everything was in front of you so it's clearly up to you to judge whether to use it or not so in my PC and my final thoughts are it's working pretty much smoothly without any issues. So the CPU and RAM is right uh, here. So it's a positive opinion uh, in my uh, point of view. So it's clearly up to you to judge whether to use it or not. So I'm going to show you the logout screen and I'm going to end the video. So I'll be posting two videos daily without missing any day. So if you want to subscribe and subscribe. So I already post in a Monday comment version of ubuntu and flavors if you want to check that out you can check it out so the login will be directly uh, without password so if you want to log in you can click on here and you should be logged in and that was the video thanks for watching peace out